Hello everyone. A lot of people have asked me to make a video on left turns at major intersections. They want to know when exactly they should uh, start turning the wheel at what point and how much they should turn the wheel and how much they should be accelerating. So I'm going to show you all these things in this video. So watch this video all the way through the end. So I'm, I'm going to show you different types of intersections, uh, smaller ones and bigger ones. So this intersection that I'm currently at is not too big. It's not a major, major intersection. And, uh, but still, you know, the, the left turn trick that I'd shown you in, uh, in uh, this video or this video, wherever it is, See, uh, it, the, the, the aligning of the shoulder with the curb doesn't work on major intersections, right? So in major intersections, you have to go a little bit further. And I'm going to show you exactly where you want to turn the, turn the wheel. So I'm going to creep up now. Watch this. So I'm here and I'm going to turn the wheel one, two, look. And I'm slightly releasing it. There you go. Perfect. So I went past the first lane. A little past the first lane before I turned the, the wheel. Let's, let's take a look at it once again. So this is where I started turning the wheel. Let's watch it in slow motion. So that's how it is. Well, the thing is, you, you don't want to remember in terms of reference points, right? Because on a major intersection, you want to focus on the traffic and all other things. This should become a muscle memory. But yes, um, it's, it's good to know how far further you want to go when making a left turn. Um, you know, and uh, next time, like, do it one, once or twice. Uh, using this trick and after that you know get rid of it right uh everything during driving should be muscle memory you should know um you know where where exactly you you, you want to turn instead of keeping using uh, reference points right so you you don't want to get into the habit i'm teaching you reference points so that you know as a new driver uh, you, you can, uh, you, you know where exactly uh, you want to turn. So I'm at another major intersection. This is a huge intersection. So I'm going up, uh, right? And I'm gonna turn from here, one, two, look. So that was almost uh, at the second lane where I turned. Let's see how much I turned the wheel in slow motion. So if you see, I'm not turning the wheel too much. It's not too much, not a full turn, just a little bit, right? Now I'm going to go to a small intersection and let's see how the turning works at the small intersection. Now until now I haven't spoken about how much to accelerate. I'll come to that point. Uh, later on I'll just, just talk about how much to accelerate. As of now I want you to pay attention to the aligning of the shoulder and uh, turning of the wheel. When waiting at the lights to make a left turn, you want to know how big the intersection is, how far further you'll have to go. So this intersection has lines, so I'm going to turn from where the line starts bending. There you go. And I let go of the wheel. So I didn't have to turn the wheel too much. 
So that, that was another kind of intersection. Let's take a look at it in slow motion once again. So now I'm going to show you how, to, how much you want to accelerate. So I start braking as I enter the intersection, brake a little bit before the turn and accelerate a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Right. So what I did was I slowed myself down and just before turning the steering wheel, I braked. I braked gently so that the car doesn't go further. I brake and then I turned the wheel and then again I switched back to the gas pedal and start accelerating so that my car doesn't stop at the turn or it doesn't slow down at the turn because if it slows down and there's a car behind me then uh, that's that's gonna honk at me so this is what I want to pay attention to I'm, I'm gonna show that to you once again so watch this I'm entering the intersection I slow down and just before the turn I will take my foot off and put it on gas and after I've turned the wheel I'll accelerate gently so that the the wheel starts turning uh, to straighten out all right so I'm going to do another left turn here so watch this I brake a little bit before the turn and go back to the accelerator and there you go That's that. Let's watch it in slow motion once again so that you understand how it works. So that's the way it is. So what we learned from this is that, you know, before you start turning the wheel, you must brake a little bit. And again, right after you have turned the wheel, you switch back to the gas pedal and start accelerating gently. You know, gently is the key word here. So you start accelerating gently and then uh, you, you go a little bit faster depending on the speed of uh, the road. So that's that, uh, my friends. So that's about turning left at major intersection. So if you think there was something else I could have uh, done in the video or, you know, uh, there's another uh, way of uh, describing this, then let me know. I'll, I'll try to make another video, the version two of this one. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again with another video.